Okay, once again, another cars example. In this case, they ask us to draw cars, and here we see that's a massive interval from negative 600 degrees to 720 degrees. And they give us that y is equal to cos of x divided by 3. Okay, so we start with our center line, uh, or our center actually. If the center is when we take whatever is inside here and we make it equal to 0. So um, x over 3 equal to 0 means x is equal to 0. So we have cos of 0 which is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1. Our center is 0 for x and 1 for y. That is 0 and 1. There is our center or our starting point. Okay, For cos, the starting point is quite helpful. Uh, next is our center line, is whatever is being added outside. There's nothing being added, so it's adding 0, which means our center line is literally on the y equal to 0 line. That's the x-axis, is our center line. After that, we take the amplitude, uh, sorry, the period. After that, we take the period and we divide the period into 4. Okay, so how do we find the period, first of all? The period is 360 divided by P. P is whatever is multiplying the X. And here we see, but X is not being multiplied, it's being divided. Well, to multiply with, one, to divide, actually, X divided by 3 is the same as a third times X. So to divide with 3 is the same as multiplying with a third. So I'm going to divide 360 with a third. 360 divided by a third. Now again, the same applies here. This, the same as dividing with 3 is the same as multiplying with a third. Dividing with a third is the same as multiplying with 3. Okay, so 360 times 3 gives me, what is that, 100 1080. So my period is 1080. Now that's way up here. I have to take 1080 and divide it into 4. Let's first divide it into a half. Half of 1080 is 540. So that is half of my period. Okay. So when I get here, I'm halfway. Half of 540 is 270. That's a quarter of the way. So let's add another 270 to 540 to get the third. So that's 270 plus another 270 will take me to 810, which would be somewhere here. 810 would be somewhere here. That would be my third position. Same in the negative direction. Negative 270, negative 540, negative 810. Okay, now I know that f when I, w if I start here, I must reach the center line at my first point, my minimum at the next point, and back at my center line at that point. But before we get there, we just need to mark off the amplitude. Now the amplitude is how high I go above and below the center line, we look at what's in front of the cars to determine that. There's a 1 in front, so we're going to go 1 unit above the center line, which is already indicated. That's why I like cars. It's already indicated with my um, center. Okay, so I, that's where I'm going to start. The, but I must stay within this boundary, 1 unit above my center line and 1 unit below my center line. Okay, so starting there, I reach my minimum, oh, my center line there, then I reach my minimum at this point, and I'm back at my graph, uh, or back at my center line at 800, neg 810. Negative direction, same thing. Okay, reach my center line there, my minimum there, and back at my center line at that point. So if I draw it in now, there we go. There we go. That looks almost correct. Okay. Just not perfect, but almost. Okay, so now they might might ask me questions like what is the amplitude? Okay, 
What is the amplitude? Well, amplitude is just one. What is the period of this function? We've calculated that. Remember, period is 360 divided by the coefficient. In this case, we, it is a third, even though it looks like divide by three. So the period we worked out was 1080. Remember, period is in degrees when we're working with degrees. And uh, that's it.